Hey everybody, Saturday morning, good morning. I am doing this due to popular demand. After my Bitcoin price predictions, everybody was asking, please do Ethereum. As you know, I do have Ethereum. I believe Ethereum should be 15% of your crypto portfolio. So if you have $100 in crypto, say $85 or in Bitcoin, you should have about $15 in Ethereum. So this one was harder to do though, and I was grappling with it for the last couple of days, and I'll explain why as I go in, but I'm still very bullish in Ethereum, but to estimate the price going forward is a function of so many variables. So let's jump right in. Uh, first of all, as you guys know, I approach everything from a math, quant, analytical perspective, and uh, money's in the math. Now, let's jump in real quick and talk about Ethereum, they signed a very valuable partnership with Visa. And if Ethereum do more of these types of partnerships, the sky is literally the limit. You'll see in one of the models that I have going forward, it really is a function of the number of users. And these types of partnerships explode that user base very, very quickly. The other thing, uh, one of the reasons I'm very bullish on Ethereum is the whole space of DeFi is an area that has an awful lot of potential. And the reason why is because the banks are broken, zombie banks. I could tell you a story recently about a mortgage experience and it was just ridiculous. And it just shows you how fragile they are and how vulnerable they are to disruption as we go forward. So watch this space over the next three to five years, I believe there will be a lot of disruption and a lot of it could be triggered by all the whole area of DeFi and Ethereum. So very quickly, sorry about the scammers, just so you know, I am active in the comments. There'll always be a black bubble around Invest Answers. And I will never share phone numbers or WhatsApps or emails or anything like that or ask for information. It's pretty easy to spot these guys. So, so let's talk a bit about trends before we jump into the price prediction models. This is a quick graphic of the Bitcoin search trend within Google. As you can see, it hasn't yet reached the peak of 2017. However, if you look at the Ethereum search activity, it's exceeded the 2017 peak. It's also exceeded the peak of Bitcoin in 2017. So that is extremely bullish, I believe, in this area. So watch this space. A lot of people are researching Bitcoin, but even more people are looking up Ethereum right now. Okay, quick recap. We have physical gold being a very big hedge asset if you saw my video yesterday, you've got your digital gold, the most perfect reserve asset in the world, Bitcoin. And you've got your digital oil, unstaked digital oil. There are the three big areas that people need to embrace today because of all the money printing that's actually happening. I'm not going to go into all that again, but I just want to recap what it is. I think digital gold and digital oil. Now, everybody's talking about a 10K Ethereum. But really what that means is 10K Ethereum means a $1.14 trillion market cap. Bitcoin isn't even at a $1 trillion market cap yet. So that would be a big explosion. But you're going to hear a lot about that this famous 10K Ethereum everywhere you go. I'll even talk about it in some of the pricing models. The other thing that's very interesting to note about the difference between supply. And as you know, one of the reasons I'm very bullish on Bitcoin is because the supply is so, so limited and so scarce and so controlled. With Ethereum, it's a little bit different. So unlike Bitcoin, which has its supply cap to 21 million, but if you've seen any of my videos, it's less than 14 million. Ethereum has not opted to set an upper limit on its total coin supply, which raises concerns about inflation for the future. Currently, there are about 113 million Ethereum. Another question that pops up is, could Ethereum eat Bitcoin for breakfast in 2021? Some people think maybe it could, but uh, currently Bitcoin is five and a half times larger than the market cap of Ethereum. And for it to catch up, uh, I estimated very quickly, the Ethereum price would have to go to 6,687, while Bitcoin would have to remain stable. And that means the ratio would have to go six Ethereum for every Bitcoin from what is currently 33 Ethereum for every Bitcoin. Now, none of this is investment advice. I just want to warn everybody. Cryptocurrencies are extremely volatile beasts and a 40% correction could be in play. So a lot of people know that Bitcoin has breached 40,000 today, yesterday as well, but it could easily revert back to 
24, 28,000. And as we also know, Ethereum follows Bitcoin. They track each other. So beware of that when you're out there. Remember, this is not for the faint of heart. If you are holding, don't let it rattle you when these things happen. And we've seen recently how quickly the corrections get gobbled up by big institutions. Like Bitcoin fell something like $5,000 swing in a matter of hours and immediately bounced back. So just uh, keep that in mind as we go forward. Don't be rattled and expect it. And just keep your seatbelt tight. Okay, model number one in this area is my favorite and it can be applied to Ethereum just like I applied it to Bitcoin, is Metcalf's Law. I estimate in 2021, there will be about 1.25 million daily active users. And that technically, if Metcalf's Law holds, should yield a price of $13,700 per Ethereum. That's model number one. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. Model number two, Raul Powell. He believes in, in this bull cycle that Ethereum could go to $20,000. And he bases this also on Metcalf's Law. But he didn't calculate the number of daily active users, but I calculated it's about 1.503 million daily active users to get to that 20,000 uh, limit. So it's very interesting. Now, I place a lot of credence in what this guy says. So if he believes it could move to 20,000, it's possible. Model number three. Now, one of the things I do want to mention about all of these models is they're not as precise and the foundation behind them isn't as strong as the Bitcoin models that I used when I used all 35 of them. So bear that in mind. But this is one uh, which I kind of call the Bitcoin FOMO factor, the spillover. When people are looking to jump into the crypto market, but they look at the price of Bitcoin, they get concerned. And you know what they do instead? They buy Ethereum. So when Ethereum is only $1,100, and Bitcoin's 40,000, they think, ooh, why don't I buy the Ethereum? It's cheaper. So I believe, using what I call the factor spillover, we should easily be able to triple the all-time high, the previous all-time high for Ethereum, which is $1,400. That'll give us sometime in 2021, maybe $4,300. As you go forward again, it's not a scientific calculation, but just an idea of what could potentially happen. It's not beyond the realm of possibility for us to see a $4,000 Ethereum this year. Andrew Keyes from the Digital Asset Risk Management Advisors, he estimates a $2,000 Ethereum by year end 2021. That's pretty easy to achieve considering you've already gone through 1,200. So it's not a big climb to go from 1,200 to 2,000. Model number five. This is the long forecast. As of December 2021, they believe Ethereum could go to 4,900, call it $5,000. The $5,000 estimate is pretty common over multiple time frames. Galaxy, this is an interesting one. And I like Gal Galaxy because it got a low and a high range for 2021. And they base this on the ratio uh, to Bitcoin. Look at the chart here carefully. You see that green box? And the, I calculate the ratios of the ranges of those of being 0 0.04, the ratio of Ethereum to Bitcoin. Bitcoin and 0.45. That would put us somewhere in the range of $1,680 in Ethereum to up to $18,900, which is uncannily close to Raul Powell's estimate of $20,000. So who knows? There could be some credence to this model, and that's why I included it. Some of the models I don't really believe in, but I'm all the ones I could dig up that I thought were somewhat okay, I put them in here. Uh, Chris Berniski, he believes... Ethereum could hit $5,000 by year in 2021. It's model number seven. Model number eight. This is Prime XBT. They gave predictions by year 2021, 2022, and 2025 of 750, which we've already beaten, $1,000, which we've beaten, $1,400 in 2022, and $5,100 in the year 2025 interesting model again that five thousand dollar number you'll hear quite a lot of as we go through this there was an anonymous an analyst that was picked up by a white paper and he estimates the price of twenty five hundred dollars by year in 2022 but the interviewer seemed pretty confident in their capability that's model number nine model number ten bitboy 
He came out uh, the other day with $27,000 as his prediction. I don't know where it came from, but he said $27,000. So I decided to put it in here. Anyway, it's model number 10. Model number 11. This is from the crypto rating agency. They believe Ethereum could hit $16,000 by year end 2023. A little less than the 20,000 for Opal, but again, interesting to look at. And model number 12, crypto research report, 3,500 by year end 2025. Pretty conservative, I would say, but uh, I included it in the model anyway, because it's always good to have conservative mixed with aggressive and some average ones as well, just to make sure it all evens out. Model number 13, the Winklevoss twins, they believe Bitcoin is going to go to half a million dollars a coin and in tandem, Ethereum will go to $75,000 per coin by the year 2025. Interesting. Again, in his interview, he talked about it, but didn't talk about the math, which means I don't really trust it very much. But I want to share it anyway with, with you all, just so you have it. Model 14. Now, this is an interesting one because I am a huge proponent of ARK Invest. Kathy Wood, you've heard me talk about her before if you've seen any of my videos. This guy, Brian Schuster, believes Ethereum could hit $100,000 by year-end 2025 and a million dollars by year-end 2030. Now, when I looked at the analytical methods they used for appraising Bitcoin over five and 10 year periods, it was far more scientific than anything I could pull out of this. So again, I lack a little bit of trust in this particular model. I don't see Ethereum going to a million dollars by the year in 2030, unless of course it becomes the only infrastructure for all financial services globally. So with that, we can jump into the summary. And thank you all for sticking around so far. This is my usual map. I lay out all the forecasts that I've done, the 16, 17 models. And uh, I've done three things. One, this is the model with ARC going to a million dollars in 2030. I don't believe that's a good model. I think it's too generous. Second model, I rip it out and I leave all the other models in there. And that would take us to about $11,000 in the year 2025 conservatively. The third model, I took out ARC and I took out BitBoy. But I modified the ARC 2025 estimate from $100,000 down to $30,000, just so we can get some type of a trend line going. And that, and, and of course, removing BitBoy as well. And that gives us a price of about $8,900 in the year 2025. That's something I'm a little bit more comfortable with. But again, it's very important to think about this. Now, I wrote this as I was putting these slides together. And uh, I started with this at the beginning that I'm far more comfortable estimating the price of Bitcoin than I am Ethereum because the future of Ethereum is a function of so many variables, so many partnerships. Uh, we just don't know where it's going to go. And currently as well, it's very expensive. The Ethereum gas is very high. That being said, I trust Raul Powell and I believe some of the models that I showcase there. So in summary, I think it's a pretty good estimate. Yeah, that uh, Ethereum could easily be eight, nine, maybe even $10,000 in five years. If you like this video, please hit the bell, hit the like, and subscribe to the channel for more great content every single day. Thanks, everybody.